You might have seen these acupressure mats. Maybe they showed up in your social media or on Amazon and you're wondering, is it worth it? Do acupressure mats really work? Today I'm gonna to review the Bed of Nails acupressure mat. I'm gonna show you what it's all about and give you my honest opinion. Hey beautiful humans, I'm Suki Baxter, founder of Whole Body Revolution, where I help you to rewire yourself for greater health, happiness, and success. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button so you never miss a video update and all of the links to everything I mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. Let's get into it. So what is acupressure? Acupressure is a process of stimulating points on your body similar to acupuncture but without the needles. It can be done with hands, fingers, elbows, or massage tools like an acupressure mat. According to Chinese medicine theories, the pressure applied to various points on your body stimulates the flow of life force energy or qi along meridians, which then restores your health. So then what's an acupressure mat? Well, an acupressure mat is designed to mimic the thousands of years old bed of nails used in meditation and healing, but in a safe, modern version. It's basically a self-healing tool that you can use at home for health and well-being. What's the acupressure mat made of? Well, the bed of nails acupressure mat is made from a cotton material and it's covered in surgical grade plastic nails that safely apply pressure to your skin without the risk of puncturing it. According to the Bed of Nails website, the plastic nails are adhered through an environmentally friendly melting process rather than using glue. So if you're someone with chemical sensitivities, you shouldn't have any issues with using this mat. So how does an acupressure mat work? Well, according to the Bed of Nails website, Bed of Nails is similar to acupuncture, a holistic method of healing used in traditional Chinese medicine. The 2000 year old theory states that we have energy or qi running through our body at all times. When this energy is blocked, it can cause illness or pain. So the pressure of our 8,820 rounded nails against your skin triggers the body's innate way of healing itself, stimulating energy pathways known as meridians. Um... Okay, okay, but what's really going on when you use an acupressure mat? Well, a lot of people report that they get really calm while lying on the mat, and while it's nice to think about energy flowing and all that, it's much more likely that what you're experiencing is a down regulation of your nervous system through novel proprioceptive input. Now that's a big mouthful, so let me explain what I mean. Whenever you start to feel calm, that means that your parasympathetic nervous system or the rest and restore branch of your nervous system is active. Now it can be active in productive ways and in not so productive ways and if you're familiar with polyvagal theory, you'll know what I'm talking about. If not, I did a whole video on that which you can check out at the link on your screen. But anyway, whenever you provide new sensory data to your nervous system, your brain receives the signals from nerve endings in your skin, muscles, and fascia, and it adapts to the new information. Touch, in general, is very calming to your nervous system, especially when that touch is what's called non-nociceptive, or it's safe, it's not harming you in any way. So there are a couple of processes that I think are likely at play here with an acupressure mat. The first is something called diffuse noxious inhibitory control, or DNIC for short. Basically, when there's uncomfortable sensory stimulation, such as immersing your hand in cold water, or from lying on a bed of nails, for example, your brain essentially turns down the volume on the discomfort as soon as it realizes that the, that the discomfort isn't actually dangerous. If you've ever foam rolled your IT bands to break up fascia and found it excruciating at first, but slowly the pain went away, this is DNIC at work. You're not actually breaking up fascial adhesions, but your brain realizes the foam roller isn't a threat to your survival, and so it numbs the sensory input until you don't feel the pain from the pressure. Even cooler, your brain doesn't just turn down the volume on localized sensations, it decreases pain signals all over your body. So it's likely that when you're lying on the acupressure mat, the DNIC process is working. The second process that I believe is functioning is stimulation of something called two-point discrimination. And this is your body's ability to discern that two distinct points of pressure are actually separate objects touching you. The nails on the bed of nails acupressure mat are very distinct points and so would likely activate the receptors in your skin responsible for sensing this kind of sensory information, which when applied to the feet has been shown to enhance balance, coordination, and athletic performance. So who can benefit from using an acupressure mat? Obviously anyone who wants to improve their physical performance from athletes and yogis to equestrian riders, golfers, swimmers, and so on will benefit from an acupressure mat. 
It has the potential to boost athletic performance by calming and regulating the autonomic nervous system as well as, like I said, possibly improving balance and coordination, although I'm not aware of any specific research or studies around that. The reality is that anyone interested in reducing pain, stress, and tension while also improving mental relaxation and well-being will benefit from an acupressure mat. What conditions will an acupressure mat treat? In general, acupressure mats are used as a complementary therapy to treat pain, stress, and fatigue. According to Bed of Nails, acupressure mat benefits range from improved circulation, reduced blood pressure, fewer headaches, relief from muscle aches and tension, improved sleep, lower cortisol, and even better digestive health. Of course, your results may vary, but most users report a reduction in pain, tension, and mental stress when using their acupressure mats. Using the acupressure mat is pretty simple. Basically, you just lie on the mat and relax. For best results, use the acupressure mat against bare skin. You want to start by just easing yourself down onto the mat and then relax. There's no need to move or do anything else. The pressure of the plastic points against your skin will do all the work. You don't just have to use your acupressure mat against your back either. You can apply the acupressure points anywhere you have pain or tension. I like to use the Bed of Nails acupressure pillow under my feet. It feels amazing. It's also great against tight calves. If you have knee pain, try using either the acupressure mat or the pillow on your thighs just above your knees. I do recommend that if you have areas in your body of intense pain or sensitivity to avoid them until you become more comfortable using your acupressure mat. You might find that applying the mat to areas that are not sensitive actually reduces the pain indirectly. You might be wondering, does an acupressure mat hurt? One of the reasons that I chose the Bed of Nails acupressure mat to review is because of the high number of nails that are on the surface. The greater the number of points, the more distributed the pressure will be and the less pain you'll experience while lying on your mat. At first, you may feel a pointy sensation and the pressure of the plastic nails might be slightly pricky or painful, especially if you're quite tense. If that's the case, wear a thin shirt between you and the mat until you develop less sensitivity. You can also put the mat against a chair or a sofa and lean against it that way, which will be less intense. So what's the verdict? Should you buy an acupressure mat? Honestly, I was a little skeptical of these mats. I tend to be a bit of a minimalist when it comes to tools like these. It's really easy to quickly become bogged down with a million little gadgets. But I have to say, I really enjoy my acupressure mat. I've been using it most evenings since I got it, and I do feel like it helps me relax both physically and mentally. So if you're considering buying an acupressure mat, I'd absolutely say go for it. Now I will say that there are many companies that produce acupressure mats at varying price points. I chose the Bed of Nails mat because it's the most well-known and reputable, and I'm very happy with the quality. So I can't speak to the lower priced versions and whether they're equally as effective or not. If you are gonna shop around for a different mat, make sure to look into the quality of the materials as well as the number of nails that are on the mat. Remember, the higher number of nails, the broader the surface area, which means you get a more comprehensive treatment while experiencing less pain and discomfort. As for quality, the Bed of Nails mat uses a surgical grade plastic to form their nails and does not use glue to adhere them. So you avoid any possibility of reactions if you have chemical sensitivities. So what do you think? Are you gonna be ordering an acupressure mat? If you do, be sure and leave me a comment here to let me know, did you love it, hate it, somewhere in between? I'm looking forward to hearing what your experience is with your acupressure mat. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified every time I release a new video and I will see you in the next one.